Did you, uh, you all pass like that uh, Omega harsh business law you were talking about last week or, or implement it rather, Max? Uh, I, I don't want the police to charge anyone with that until I have the, we have the means to give people an actual business license, but it did pass. Is it? Yeah, we're just not putting the, it. Uh, we're not putting it in yet. Oh, okay. There's oh, it a, should be in city council documents, though. I think yeah, it was in there. It was proposed. Yeah, yeah, so you can read it. Okay. Let's get started. Welcome to the tenth council meeting of of heck. Uh, any news? Any important news? Uh, I just have general updates. I am not presenting anything this week. Uh, for Civilian Oversight Board, I've managed to talk to three of the four people. I have uh, not been able to locate Sunny Brooks yet, but um, Ursula, who is filming coincidentally right now, she's uh, she's going to help get the word out on uh, complaints if anyone does does wish to do those. But myself, uh, Archie, and Owen, we've, we've been telling people if they got uh, you know, civilian complaints against the PD, how to, how to action those uh, on the civil side if they don't want to go. Uh, internal with them. Okay. Um. Any other? Anyone else with general news? Question mark. Uh, I mean, we talked about most of the quota stuff with you and uh, Siobhan and Michael yesterday. I had a general question, and I don't know if anyone has experienced this, but I was told that uh, grime drivers are going to Polito delivering everything and then leaving their trailer on the side of the road and mass yeah um that's why we stole all of those there yep uh i was gonna propose a an illegal dumping <laughs> thing today I, i'm on board with that because can we can we track the trailers no someone tried to see if you can get a plate read on it and for some reason when it's uh detached you cannot do that um, that would make it a lot easier i promise you well, they're 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 dumping them in the same spot, like that shoulder leading into Polito, right in front of the farm. So you just gotta sit sit there and then watch some yeah. dumb motherfucker do it. Okay, because yeah, I mean, they want to speed down the highway faster without their fucking trailer. Yeah, I didn't put two and two together that the amount of uh, sixteen wheelers without the 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 trailer on it that I see going south on Popular towards the docks, but now it makes perfect sense that. Are are they just doing it to get better mileage on the freeway? Like, they want to yeah. get back faster. Oh, yep. Jesus. Yup. Yeah, I mean, I'm all, I'm all for being that yep. pretty harshly. My wife and I went on a uh, a uh, grime ride along uh, probably about a week ago now. And that was the last part of our grime ride <laughs> was dumping the trailer. So you saw it in real time. Yeah. Yeah. All right, good to know. Okay. Um, uh, PD liaison Nakota, do you have anything to present to the Council of Eight? I think the majority of it was us discussing the quota system yesterday, and then honestly, the big thing I had was that being told by people that uh, grime beds are being detached in random places, and if we could get a charge for that. But apparently, you're already well aware of it. Please yeah. Please, Nakota. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I sorry. I have someone uh, that's going to speak here. Come on. Howdy, uh, y'all. This is Momo. I met him at the sanitation yard uh, last night. Hi, Momo. Hi, Momo. Hello, everyone. Uh, we'll start with Momo. Fuck it. Uh, and then we can get to the uh, illegal dumping. Hello, Momo. How are you guys today? Doing well. Right. You are being filmed, of course, because the uh, the council meetings are now uh, filmed live. So if there's anything, if you would like to not speak, uh, that can also be arranged. No, that's absolutely fine. I uh, consent to the to the recording. Cool. Uh, what did what did you want to talk to about the council or talk to the council about? I wanted to speak to the council of about the wonderful DOC that they've uh, put into place. <laughs> yeah, that was Hi. that was that was sarcasm coming from a criminal's point of view. It really it's it's terrible for us. It's miserable. It's absolutely dreadful. We hate it. It's 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 the most scary thing in the world. We we really 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 do not like going to prison. I have Wait, completely you don't rethought like prison. I 
I, wow. I used to Let's enjoy prison. Everybody. I used to enjoy prison. I, enjoy it used prison? to be a time. It used to be a time for me to think and ponder on my oh, with myself. Like a meditative retreat. Exactly. Away from everybody. Away from all the all the crazies. But nope. Now I can't do that anymore. Now, now it's 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 try to escape at all costs or don't go to or don't do crime. I've resorted to not doing crime just because I am completely oh alone in the goodness. city. I know. Terrible. Council of Eight, we might have solved crime, guys. Nice. Hey, we fucking did nice. it. <laughs> Mama, can you talk about uh, like what goes down in Bolingbrook when uh, it's staffed? Yeah. Yeah, what, what, what you wrote in your testimonial, which is in my chief of staff notes, if anybody wants to pull it up. I haven't heard of many people that are actually in there, so yeah. Okay, but, uh, so... Let's think about it this way, all right? We all we're all humans here. We all have free will. We all have something that we identify ourselves by, right? Which is our names. I stand oh. proudly behind my name. I feel like my name defines who I am, and it's you know, it's a staple to to who we all are. And there, that is gone. You are known and only known as Maggot. You lose all sense of dignity. You know, do not treat you as a human. They tell you how to think. They tell you what to do, how to act. They tell you when to breathe, what to wear. You know how miserable that is? I couldn't imagine. Dehumanizing. Then, Terrible. It, it, and then above all else, they torture you and beat you. They stabbed me. Left me to bleed. Pushed me out of the prison. And EMS didn't even want to assist. Did they leave you in the parking lot? Yes. They're are they not oh, supposed there's to the do perm. that, are they? There you go. No, they're not meant to do that. Yeah, uh, yeah we'll, we'll talk to them about yeah, making yeah. sure you don't get treated. They should oh, try to treat you. Mm -hmm. Nope. Stabbed. Leaving, le leave out and leaving, forced out. Leaving you in the parking lot for EMS to potentially respond to. Yeah, that's to pretty bad. <laughs> no bueno. Uh, we'll, yeah, I'll talk I've, to I've them. gotten a couple complaints about... Uh, them just constantly dumping people in the parking lot and calling EMS. Yeah, yeah. it's happened I, quite a bit. I know this was two weeks ago, but did did uh, did EMS agree to basically like not treat them unless they're on, on the highway or, or some shit? Like, what was the, the uh, response? I, response that I got because I was still I made my own nine one one call. It was we are not allowed to respond to the prison. Right, that's that's yeah, why I'm there asking. You go, I guess yeah, I, I told well, them. But yeah, uh, where, I told where, them what, what we is, talked what about. Is the, and I guess, yeah. A boundary line now, I guess, just for like my knowledge. I don't is... think there is necessarily a boundary line. Um, okay. but I, I uh, expressed that if they think they are at risk, they do not have to respond there. And I guess they took that very literally. Hey, that's that's all. I mean, fair, fair enough for the parking lot. They got yep, like line of sight on them, basically. Uh, I have I have heard that their medical facilities cannot treat uh bleeding wounds yes which is a huge problem so oh. maybe uh i i'd always say we wouldn't help them but giving them some tourniquets might not be untoward we uh so that's uh, that's a tough one um discussions that i've had i don't think it would be a viable option those are um very um very good medical equipment they're they're uh very sought after highly sought after um putting them in a place where they could be so easily uh taken essentially because uh, i guess karma and bobby aren't the biggest threats they could be beaten up for it is a is a major concern essentially uh, unfortunately i know it's not uh, a happy answer uh, but it is um either they have to get treatment from the hospital they are someone who can travel there or uh, they have to try to not get injured uh, because they, the local doctors can't help them until they're incapacitated. Okay. I think if you give them the tools necessary that they need for medical treatment, it's only going to uh, push them further to treat us more like shit and dehumanize us. Are you, uh, are you saying? This is, I was in the prison a couple of days ago. Uh, it's hard to get less human than that, Momo. Oh, yeah. It sounds like yeah. it. I just don't even think we should be pushing the envelope with any kind yeah. of equipment. I I, I, yeah. I, I watched I watched someone in Bolingbrook, aka Dogtown, 
cut off some guy's arms. Oh my god. And then attach them to his body. Huh. That's terrifying. Okay. Not Daijobu. Oh, well, I mean, not Daijobu if it were on the streets. In mm-hmm. Bolingbrook, mm-hmm. it's perfectly fine. Of course, of course. Um, I am personally for them having at least a small stock of tourniquets, just so that though there aren't any like, like I, <laughs> I when I went to prison, there was a cop up front, and um, they tried to like I was going in there to inspect the place, and there was a cop out front talking to them through the gate near the DMZ. Uh, and then they opened it to let me in with my wife. And uh, they tried to like smoothly, like usher the cop in as well. And we're like, all right, all right, come on guys. Come on, everyone. They like come through the gate. <laughs> and they tried to like trick her into coming inside so they could fucking take her shit. Um, That's crazy. <clears throat> my point is, mm-hmm. um, if they have, you know, like maybe like five, six, seven tourniquets a day, um, it will potentially prevent EMS from being, you know, maybe just mm-hmm. straight up grabbed from the parking lot if they decide to go there or grabbed from anywhere else and robbed or, you know, attacked for their supplies. So the concern we run into is the medical supplies are very carefully tracked and assigned to individuals. Um, when we buy them from Marcus, uh, he he stamps our state ID on them so that we can very carefully track them to make sure if they're robbed or given out, uh, we know who they're coming from. They're very regulated in that regard. Um, there's also the issue of uh, they don't have medical training. They could potentially cause more issues if they're applying to tourniquets to people without a level of knowledge there. Uh, not to mention, because they're not medically trained, they're, they might struggle to apply them to people, so they might just have to let someone try to apply a tourniquet to themselves, which is extremely dangerous. Um, there, there's a lot of reasons why one having them out and about is a major risk, and two, I just it, it could also cause more problems. Okay. And given the fact that they've already been pushing the boundaries, and Alan has had to have multiple conversations with them, I don't really feel like they have shown the level of competency or trust that uh, having you know that kind of equipment, you know. Yeah, I just I just hope these guys don't wise up, mm-hmm. go on YouTube and look up how to make a tourniquet. They could. Well, um they, that's I mean, I think that'd be I mean if they want to order worries. some off wish.com or something, but uh but we our our specialized stuff I just wouldn't feel comfortable giving to them. Just wait till they learn you can make napalm at home. Yeah. Oh my, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Momo, any uh, final notes on uh, your experience at Bolingbrook? Yeah, the conversation that I was trying to have was very it went south uh i i thought you guys you know were gonna be sentimental or try to advocate for the people who are being sent up there but apparently that's exactly what you guys were going for so if that's what you guys are going for and it is obviously uh decreased the crime rate then i am very happy for you guys well you said it yourself thank you yeah thank you yeah i'm gonna go cry prison's not Um... supposed to be fun it's okay. Just don't go to prison again. Congratulations prison. on your new clean life, yeah, sir. Yeah, congratulations. If you ever want a job okay. as a doctor on, or something, like, let us know. I, I can't. I can't. I'm a felon. They're, they're, I can't get that job. Get expunged, expunged, man. You're fine. Expunged. There you go. <laughs> She's not doing crime anymore. It shouldn't be so hard. Nice. Hey. Anyway, yeah. yeah I mean, that went well. It's we did it. Um, working yeah. as intended. It's working. I, I, uh, yeah, great. I never understood the mentality that prison was supposed to be a good thing. Oh, I know, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's just good news for us. When he first started telling me his story, um, you know, I was trying to be sympathetic, but when he got to the part where he's like, I don't even want to do crime anymore, I'm like, so it's working! And I yeah. kind of gave it all away. <clears throat> I was very excited. Okay, uh, enlightening. Uh, Malton doesn't have anything. Nakota doesn't have anything. Uh, Cantor, you have anything you want to present to the Council of Eight? Uh, there is the uh, drug schedule on me and Siobhan worked on. If you're, if you're ready with that, uh, Siobhan, we could go for it. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, I just also want to give like full clarity that this was adopted from something that Norman Adams had sent me. Ew. It, it was good stuff. I mean, I, I adopted it. I, I pretty much paraphrased almost everything and removed a lot. And then Cantor and I worked together on a bunch of stuff as mm -hmm. well to update it and change it. But just one in full transparency. Yeah, uh, Norman brought it to me as well, um, which is how mm -hmm. I initially pitched it in the first place. Um, so I, I'll be, you know, I didn't know much about scheduling drugs and how it works outside of here. But looking into it, I think it's a good idea. So we've ironed it out. Um, we've made a couple changes from his initial pitch. Um, my pitch was three schedules instead of two, with the idea that schedule one being the harshest level of drugs would only be felony possession. Essentially, how like heroin is right now, any amount is is a felony. Schedule one would be bad enough that any amount is felony. So it shouldn't even make things too, too much harder. In fact, it would make things technically easier that anything in that schedule one would only be one singular charge. And then the actual drugs and which section they're in can be changed. That could be like, you know, pitched to the council by whoever is medical liaison at the time um to hey you know i don't think this is as harmful as we once thought we could change this category things like that uh, but yeah y'all read over it letting us know if you have any questions let's see we also touched briefly on legal pharmaceuticals um that's uh somewhat related to things like a nexus back in the day michael um essentially put something uh that lsmg oversees that so that y'all don't run into cops trying to arrest you for transporting drugs again <laughs> uh we can like put our stamp of approval on it and then they can get fucked the fuck is the juice uh, uh a drug back yeah. in the day that uh it was a giant shot of uh, adrenaline made from human kidneys uh that would restart your heart but could cause severe injuries down the line, like it could cause heart attacks. Uh, can, we, can we just take this time just to get rid of all the, the drugs that aren't on the street currently? I mean, I... I this is I'll be like, down for that, yeah. This is just my opinion, but I, I don't like future-proofing drugs into schedules. Like, I, I think if you have a, a catch-all on Class 3 for, mm -hmm. like, a generic drug... That'll give police something to charge in the future. And then from their investigation and their Agreed. pitch to the council or to the digital, yeah, and then, it, it could be added as a specific schedule. And the medical liaison at the time can take it to the hospital to do some, uh, you know, he studies, proper right? checks on it. Yeah. Research. So uh, in doing this, um, when we, uh, if this is approved and we make this change and the charges for possession are removed, we could uh, get rid of all the ones that we haven't seen around uh, and only assign the ones. I want to add a So this is a good way ones. to clear it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay. The warden's, yeah. here. the warden's here to file a, a complaint against the police. I have you. Oh, my. Come on in, Baron. What, what's up with the fucking condom? I, uh, I have to I, protect I, my I in Schedule 3, just generic drug. Just, yeah, uh, sure. That yeah, works. That, that'd mm -hmm. be the catch all. Anything the police want to feel is articulate. Oh, hey, lovely to see you, Bobby. Can, yeah, that, that's fair. Mm -hmm. We're gonna we're gonna finish talking about this uh, scheduling first, yeah. uh, okay. Baron, and then we can uh, hear your complaint. <laughs> sure, sounds good. All right, um, we had uh, marijuana schedule three for I think obvious reasons, but you know the mm -hmm. cultivation, the uh, felony intent to distribute, all that will still apply as is. If someone's fucking around to that level, you know those are still the same. Just, this is only for possession. Um, and then yeah, as we go through and figure out what is actually applicable, uh, if this is approved we can decide which schedule to throw them in. Um, so uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, there's felony and misdemeanor possession of schedule two and three, uh, and then felony possession only of schedule one. I also have a spreadsheet created with all of the times, fines, and felony and misdemeanor amounts of each drug. So if this is approved, we can you know plug that in pretty quickly and easily and figure out what times and fines we want to land on. In comparison what's what's to with the language here about oxy and weed being for medical? Uh, that is the intention behind the lower scheduling, is that they uh, have potential medical use, which is why they are a lower schedule. It's not that it is legal if it has medical use. It is it is a lower charge because of that fact. So doctors are going to try to prescribe marijuana? No, that's not what this is. 
Uh, Schedule 3 is just a lower time of fun. Um, there is still no legal amount of any of these drugs. Uh, yeah, no, we're not doing that. I, that I mean, would be a whole other page. Would you, would you be more comfortable from a judicial standpoint, Crane, if it was just based off of the public health risk and there's no mention of... And there's no mention of that? We could, we could like get rid of that part, yeah. For, yeah. Just lesser public health risk. I, mean, I, I still, I still don't, I still don't agree with the thing overall. I think it causes issues with tracking drugs in terms of charges and reports. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I just, I don't think it's the right way to go. I have no problem with it if you guys want to remove or you think it's a good idea to remove the drugs that we don't see around the streets anymore, but. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think that the there's an overwhelming benefit to creating the classes that overrides the inconvenience and confusion it would cause when it comes to tracking, you know, drugs at a glance. Are you thinking something I'm, like when you're trying to find three incidences of felony possession yeah, to distribute for drug trafficking? Is that what like, you're thinking of? Yeah, because if you if you want like mm -hmm. felony possession of marijuana to bolster your two instances mm -hmm. of sale of drugs. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you just you, dog. what would you do just search for class three possession and then you'd have to open up each report and find out which ones are weed search the marijuana tag yeah and hope i mean that yeah the, uh, there's, the, there's the german tags has everything the programmed correctly yeah uh, uh pd uh, could also put yeah. tags in reports for right class mm -hmm. one two or uh schedule one two and three to ease the burden or even a tag for the specific drug if needed yeah, tag like, for the specific uh, drug we could yeah. do there's both not actually because then you can just yeah. tag them simultaneously and they should mm -hmm. in in execution come right up for the report and then if there if any possession and other charges uh to do with like weed for example um have been charged against a person you can search for the weed tag and you'll see the entirety of the weed related crimes no matter whether they're a specific possession charge or not You, you say that this isn't legalizing anything, but it also says this establishes the Los Santos Medical Group as the authority on any pharmaceutical medications that will be legal to possess with a valid prescription. Yes, like back in the day, we had uh, antidepressants and things through Nexus. It's it's for things like that, not uh, anything. Um, we can reword that, too, if you want. My thoughts yeah. are any drug uh, is brought to the council um, for approval. So we can we can reword this. So like, say... Uh, you know, a drug that should be, you know, a, a pharmaceutical company pops up. They're coming through. Um, they're coming through the hospital. The medical liaison can bring it here and say, uh, "Look, like uh, th this is not something that has to be scheduled. This is not something illegal. Like are you guys go with that." But uh, I'm assuming it would have to go through a business approval anyway. So I mean, It's safeguarding for those because uh, that happened in the past. We ran into things like uh, Beta Life yeah. had no communication with the hospital in any way. They just randomly had drugs that were illegal. If this does go through, I, I still think there should be a, a felony possession even for a uh, Schedule 3? Wait, is that the There is felony one possession of Schedule There is still, three. yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, what's, what's the... Oh, there's only not a misdemeanor. Okay. Yes, there's not a misdemeanor for fe for Schedule 1, is my thoughts. It would be okay, like yeah, heroin where any yeah, amount... Yeah. Any amount, yeah. 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 yeah I just uh, it's good. Let me change this word in a little bit to add the... Uh, which will be approved by the council through the medical liaison part, so that it. I thought we had the part, Cantor. I might have accidentally deleted something when I was okay. trying to get the table that you sent me in here, and it was just mm -hmm. not. 
oh was yeah not the cooperating. Type, those it was not, not cooperating. cooperating i can yeah they do if not. it gets approved i'll just run it all out that's okay you're an angel i'll also hope if you need it hell yeah thank you uh let me let me cook on that hold up Nice puppy. It's a good girl, Mr. Mayor. So are you guys are you guys wanting to call this to a vote or uh she's be working on language if with anyone us. has yeah, let me let me finish it up. All right. It's a pretty badass photo. Okay, now it establishes the city council as the authority on that as well, as an extra safeguard, because I can see your concern there. Um, are there any other questions on it uh, to iron out before we go to a vote? Uh, I mean, I, you know, I have the same positions, but I think I'm overruled, so it is what it is. We should vote. I start the I'll. I mean, I. I think I vote yes. I. I put in a lot of effort to. It. Anyone else? Uh, anyone nay? Nay, other than uh, Craig. Uh, hold on. Oh, okay. Bet. Yeah, I'm. I'm just rereading the uh, final form. Yeah. And if you're not happy with that word, and let me know. I think that uh, I think that sums up a solution. But uh, I'm happy to adjust. I mean, I, I just, I, I, uh, I think, I think that you're essentially taking one factor that's used in legislating punishments for drugs and making it the factor. So, like, for mean? example, uh, marijuana is a Schedule Three drug. Yeah. So it'll have the least uh, times for possession. Right. But it also is probably the biggest money making drug. So in if we're trying to deter the ultimate purchase and retention and possession of it, it we're not really deterring it because it's gonna be a schedule three. So it'll be, you know, the lowest, you know, punishments for drug possession. We could also have it at schedule two currently if there's a concern that it is a major issue. But, but uh, that's what I mean is like, so the, the scheduling says that the way that we're doing this is health and safety risk. So it says mm -hmm. it establishes based on high public health, no known benefits, incidences of abuse. Yeah. But there's no consideration in there that talks about deterrent needs, impact on society in terms of violence associated with the drug. Mm -hmm. And like I said, these are all factors like when we create charges for new drugs we take you know the medical professional field we take you know law enforcement we take you know financial things into effect right and it seems like we're ignoring the other elements and just replacing that with the healthcare perspective being the perspective we can uh we can expand on it i'm completely okay with that uh it just says outlined um it was set as public health risk uh if you want it to um if you want it to be expanded to take in numerous factors, um, we can uh, we can word it very specifically uh, that it is brought to the council, both legal and illegal drugs, after the uh, after all the checks through the hospital, uh, and then that is determined based on a wider factor with things like the PD liaison with um, with the head of bar and everything. So it's not just the health risk; it's also the you know, public safety, all the what the cops actually say. It c it can be based on wider factors. We can we can expand on that absolutely. PD liaison, one of the PD at 
taste my nuts ain't in your mouth. That was a good one. And it doesn't negate the other charges, right? Like I stated, um, it doesn't negate cultivation of marijuana. It doesn't negate felony possession with intent to distribute. Um, it doesn't negate any of that. This is just, just possession. Giddy, at least my nuts ain't in Dakota's mouth. Get it. Get it, Ursula. It, that, that was a good one. I do understand this, you know, this is your field on this, so I, I absolutely respect your opinion on it. Um, I do think this is a good idea, Um, but any any feedback you have, uh, you know, is helpful. Dakota, one of my concerns when this was discussed two weeks ago was uh, bozo cops and, and processing. Do, do you mm. think that under the way it's worded, cops can still process, charge, investigate, blah, blah, blah? You think they, they could all still do that effectively, shall we say? Uh, I think if it's simplified under these three schedules, that shouldn't be an issue. Um I think to maybe what the chief justice was saying is like right now, the only problem, it's not even a problem. It's just the amount of drugs that are out or the differing types of drugs that are in circulation right now are very minute. Um, I think the main thing we find people with right now is marijuana and mm -hmm. I guess moonshine to a certain extent, but that's obviously different, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Um, but like I said, I, I personally don't think any officers would have issue with this, but uh, I don't have the perspective of the DOJ from a, you know, a higher up uh, standpoint. So I'm open to other people's perspectives. Of course. Okay. I mean, it, it gives us the opportunity, right, to, to clean up all these charges because you're not wrong. A lot of this just <laughs> isn't seen. Uh, at all right now there's a there's a lot of things that might not be relevant at all currently in the penal code so starting th this feels like starting off on the right foot to me but i am also uh just a, a doctor i have probably the least horse in this race out of some of the people here um so you know i do appreciate opinion Uh, yeah. Anyone else have anything else? Oh, did you finish the updates? Let me go look. Uh, I added the part where uh, it states the council approval legal uh, medications require council approval. I might just uh, work on if I can reword the whole thing. I kind of have to go in and change it up and put everything under council approval instead of that specific part. Let me. Um... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's already fixed up. So we'll pass it on. It looks like it's there. Looks like you got yeah. it. Yeah, it's there. Okay, perfect. So it says in any place. Do you want to put this to a vote now? Uh, yeah. Um, we'll have to vote on where drugs go either way. Keep in mind. So this is just the base framework of the scheduling we're voting for. So wait, whenever there's a new drug, you're saying the city council votes to classify it? Yes. I'm saying, uh, well, the I way I have it in there is by default, it's classified as a three because... Yeah, mm -hmm. it's already in there, but them. we can bump it up. We can adjust it. Yeah, but if you want to specifically name it in there with, you know, then that's what the council would kick in. Mm -hmm. 
would have to figure out what amount is felony and misdemeanor stuff anyway to get it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just have a clarifying question. When it says lower incident of abuse, does that mean like less instances of people being found with it? Less addictive. Uh, yeah, yeah. Less it's addictive. Mm -hmm. So they they don't abuse it. Yeah. Yes, it's not a less amount of being found with. And we can we can change. Uh, like Crane was asking for, we can change the uh, descriptors. Th that was just kind of a quick summary of what we yeah. looked for. But we can change what we are looking for if uh. You know, depending on like what we want to see, essentially, we can do that now or in the future. Yeah. What so I if? Don't... Oh God. Yeah. What, you got? what if every time a new drug's found on the street, we bring it here on Saturdays and then we all take we do some it all? and see how Hell addictive yeah. it is? That would be an ideal case study. <clears throat> I've been sober for four years and that ain't changed. Oh, except for that, I everyone have too, except but for that's because no one will sell me cocaine. This is fucked up. I uh, I only drink, unfortunately. I'm not a drug guy. Okay, so all the cool people in this room will do the drugs, and you guys can trip sit us. Yeah, yeah. Let's say we need you need you babysitters. You need trip sitters. Gone. Yeah, it's important the job. It won't be illegal yet if we haven't shit. Wait, under Malton's plan, it would be. Still be yet. Yeah. Okay, well, so well, I, it's I, fine. We'll cook on it. I think the uh, my only initial thing here is, and uh, it's like if we're going to take into account uh, how often people are caught with a certain drug as to as far mm -hmm. as the scheduling, like right now, yeah. if that was taken into account, marijuana would be schedule one because yeah. it is the drug that we catch people with by far the most. So, because mm -hmm. public health risk know. is vague. Uh, if you think that that is a current significant public health risk um you know that that is something to keep in mind right it's one of those things that we we can use for uh numerous regards i i don't think we should be schedule one admittedly i think uh i think it's weighed it's pretty pretty chill but that's a personal thing uh you could absolutely make that argument is what i'm saying It's not just public health risk like you smoke one joint and it'll kill you, you know? It's like um, if people are fucking like shooting each other over weed or, uh, or you know, it's causing like gangs or something, that, that's still like public health risk to me. I think that's what I meant. Like if people are willing to yeah. flee from an a incident or a traffic stop or something like that because they have weed on them and then they run somebody over. Or, I know that's not necessarily like in right. the in the spirit of health risk right you're talking about the effect no, the drug it, has on the person it but... can be honestly it can't it doesn't have to just be the effect of per that it has on a person uh, we can take into account the entire picture of how it affects um the city when we're making those determinations and adjust it as needed right even if we did say like you said make it schedule one currently um if it you know down the line doesn't need to be we can adjust that Yeah, I think as long as the language is uh, clear about uh, public health risk, uh, along with how often the PD are, are catching said drug. Yeah, um, if you could think of a, if anyone can think of a better wording, let me know. My kind of thoughts for public health has encompassed all of that, but if if we want to make it more specific, we can absolutely do that. that work just added on risk of addiction with incident of abuse to try to just delineate them um so he's also concerned for like the the public right uh i think is what um he was looking for something oh, like the that, public risk yeah like um like people shooting each other over it or getting into like gang wars or uh you know driving well high or something like like the uh external factors it could cause i yeah. think is what he wanted to like uh clarify what public way to work are. yeah yeah yeah
Uh, I think like, uh, I mean, I'm not opposed to this as long as it's, I mean, it, it seems like this will be a living, uh, always adapting document. Yes. It, it, this is very much, uh, if it's voted in, yeah, I'd, uh, it will change constantly. I, 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 uh, <laughs> I think there's some issues with this. Uh, Pray tell. I don't think, uh, that, uh, I don't think that uh, the council should be voting democratically on uh, the harshness of a drug for the purposes of time and fine. Because, I mean, you know, uh, I think you guys are acting in good faith, but someone acting in bad faith could very easily, uh, I don't know. I, so my my thoughts were the time and fines for each schedule are set by the DOJ. We don't touch that. The most we can do is decide which schedule they're in. So it could never be that abused. Like, no one can say the fine for marijuana is $1. Because well, yeah. that's I mean, not our thing to say. Yeah, uh, we can put, decide. You know, heroin in Schedule 3. We could, yeah. Uh, but then the DOJ could look accordingly and up the fine if y'all felt you had to. Yeah, but then I do that for every Schedule 3 drug. It, it's true, yeah. Um I mean, I think it's unlikely that a whole council would vote for heroin to be yeah. Schedule 3. Um, but, you know, th that's the checks I'm thinking, right? We, we don't vote on the time and fine for it. We only vote on the schedule. Yeah, it's completely up to y'all where the time and fine is set and if that needs adjusting. And uh, I'm assuming, or I'm not assuming, but this is uh, in conjunction with the fact that the doctors in the hospital will be testing these things to get more yes, uh, ready results to, to give and like, a better understanding yeah, of it. Yeah, To give some actual like feedback. That, that'll that be a uh, responsibility of the medical liaison to bring here, uh, to give like actual feedback on the medical effects of the drug. Yeah, I just, can't that part exist without the other part? Oh, uh, which part are you concerned about? I'm saying I had, I'm trying. I'm trying to weigh mm -hmm. what yeah, I view I gotcha. as like complications with the legislation, or you know, uh, things to deal with versus right. what like the benefit gained, right? So what I'm saying is, is the stuff about the hospital and the medical liaison uh, reviewing drugs and testing them and providing data and input and all that that already happens and can't happen with or without legislation. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, so here's my thoughts. It, it can happen now, you're not wrong, but a lot of these drugs, as have been mentioned, aren't around, uh, and there's already pre-established times and fines that, uh, just, have just kind of been sitting there for a while. I, I made a whole spreadsheet with all the times and fines, they're well, yeah, pretty the whole similar across redistributed. the board. Yeah, um... It's just a chance to reinvigorate it and restart it under uh, whatever we actually find uh, and kind of, you know, go through the whole process here and what we find instead of just you know, what we've always had, I guess. Yeah, I defer to all y'all. Uh, I think I heard enough. Uh, who are the yays? Raise your hand, please. For yays? Yeah. Oh. Raise your hand gonna, if you are gonna, a yay. You're not gonna... Raise your hand if you are a nay. I'm a nay. Uh, six to two. This passes. I think if we ever get to a point okay. where oh, I'm sorry, uh, if we get to a point where the implementation becomes, you know, too much of an issue, I mean, we can always revisit it and, you know, exactly. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We can always, yeah, we can always uh, revoke, amend whatever we need to do. Yes. Mm -hmm. this, this is very much intended to be living and breathing with the council touches relatively frequently. I just think uh, it'd be nice to be able to handle things as they come here instead of just, uh, the same old so uh, hopefully it works out i i like it 
which means if it has passed, we should probably vote on where we're putting weed as a schedule initially. Well, what are so we're literally just going to publish what an empty schedule just marijuana? We don't have to publish it yet. You know, there's some things that pass but need discussion, right? We've had uh, a few of those, but we can, you know, plan it right now for when we're ready to. Well, I'm just asking because you're saying you want to get rid of everything that's not seen right now. So the only thing seen right now is marijuana. So yeah. uh, are we I... just making a schedule and it's going to have one drug in it? Like I said, it doesn't have to be published right now. We could give it, um, no, give it a tiny bit of time, uh, like even just a week or two, so we can figure out what uh, what we want to do with this. But um, it's how do y'all feel about it? M my pitch wasn't get rid of all of the old ones. Well, it was get rid of all the old charges, but it was schedule a couple initially, but then they could be moved around. Yeah, I thought we were getting rid of all the old stuff. It's getting rid of all the old charges, but we can schedule some that are you know well expected and known and stuff you know some like just throw like hair the, and the more one designer ones like mm -hmm. metamorphine and the juice and yeah those yes those should all be gone that was my thoughts um was throw the basic very uh you know the the drugs everyone knows everyone knows cocaine. Yeah, why don't why everyone don't we just why don't we wait for the hospital to tell us about all the drugs okay sounds good or we can also schedule it with just one i mean we can also nah, publish I wouldn't, it and I let feel them know comfortable but... without the research being done on weed okay sure no all of them you know Ooh. No, I was pitching only the the uh posted with the one there, but uh yeah, we can do the research. So we so we are doing the the weed and nothing else or what which one? I was trying to find out what you were comfortable with. Um I don't do see either. how we could schedule anything other than marijuana right now. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, that that's yeah. So do you want to that's wait? It's like to saying schedule? I'm gonna write my schedule for next month and you just write masturbate every day. Yeah, I get like, that. It ain't really uh, a schedule, is it? That is not what I'm saying. I am asking, do you want to wait to to post it now? Or do we want to post it with only the one? That is, uh, I'm, I'm fine with give it a bit of time while we figure out where we want marijuana to land. Uh, give it a week or two and maybe revisit the next meeting on that uh, and then go from there. What do you six think? I think that uh, maybe, maybe the hospital can officially run some tests on marijuana, and unless unless the hospital has already done that information, it would be nice to know. Yeah, I can come up with something for you. I got you. Definitely, absolutely. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll do that. I might have to work with you, Nakota, on that as well. So I yep, don't want to just be buying. Weed no, I yes, person. I figured. Yep, I figured. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, just to get you started from a good place, you should watch a movie called Reefer Madness. Got a lot of good info in there. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> that scared a lot of Wasn't that a horror movie? Sounds great. It was no, a it, documentary. It, <laughs> documentary? <laughs> hey, what do you mean? <laughs> you need to do your own research. You know, your <laughs> mainstream media over there. Okay. Oh, uh, hell yeah. Okay. Philippa, anything, other to, anything else to present? Uh, no, it was just that. I've uh, had more discussion about the violent charge idea, but I still don't feel comfortable putting yeah, it we're to, still... putting it to paper. What, if what, I don't if I don't have something concrete there, I won't what's that one? Pitch it, so. Yeah, what is that one? Uh, we talked about it last time, the idea for uh, a charge for violent acts committed on government property. Uh, essentially, it, uh, like it would be a deterrent but not something nearly as heavy as like medical terrorism or uh, medical discontinuity it's not intended to be numerous days in prison it would probably just be a slightly higher fine to say hey don't fuck around here <laughs> uh, but you know lives aren't ruined over it type thing well I mean so this is primarily uh, you're probably worried about the hospital right yeah but you know yeah. also city hall and you know people fucking around too much in MRPD can cause them issues too you know um so I mean, not that this is always the case, but wait, I'm for it if we put reckless and violent. Okay, fuck yeah. There are these people like you should see some people. They got no fucking 
civil decency. Oh, or, like uh, how Dundee drove a raised, club no, through you know, the ER. Yeah, wasn't horse. raised right. You know, it's mm-hmm. like yeah. they just, oh, you know, you guys know how it is. You, there's always that one person, you know, where they zero class, right? Just absolute bottom barrel trash. And they'll do anything. You know, like mm-hmm. fucking drive a motorcycle in like a government building. I mean, it's, uh. these people are just <laughs> unredeemable. I mean, we got to do okay. something about it. I didn't say it. Yeah, um, I, know. I caught that Burke guy driving a club into the the lobby a couple of times. As well. Yeah, no, no, Dundee has driven a club in through the car too, uh, mm-hmm. uh, through the hospital too. It's uh, that, that's crazy. That one's really weird. <laughs> yeah, that's uh. Wait, I drive my motorcycle in City yeah, Hall. Yeah, I think. Wait, what? Have been Alan, to? what? Alan, Wait. what are you referring to? Huh. Alan. I said what I said. Uh, okay. No more from Philippa. Uh, Alan, do you have anything you'd like to make known at the, the council table and or present? Uh, yeah. Uh, we we got to stop liking big numbers. Okay. Go on. Like we, Every charge we keep voting in is like 10 grand. And it's getting kind of absurd for me to like balance how things, for mm-hmm. example, right now, uh, stealing a, uh, a turbo is actually equal to blowing shit up with explosives. Okay. Uh, and so there's two options. Either one, uh, we stop going for big numbers or two, uh, everything gets big numbers, which I don't think is feasible. So either way, I still need to do like a holistic overhaul on the penal code because just some shit just doesn't make sense in terms of scaling. It's getting absurd. To yeah, but I'm just, um, I'm just offering like caution in general when we're legislating things that we don't, uh, you know, get right. into this trend of thinking we're hitting this problem real hard with a big fine and then all of a sudden the entire penal code is just big fines for what people are doing right now. Um, That's fair. Okay, so uh, are you going to go through and uh, rebalance? Yeah, I have to basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a spreadsheet. I'm going to uh, qualify each crime with like a, a severity, right? How much impact it has on society and all that. And then I'm also going to scale like proportionally each fine and then cross-reference them against the severity, and it should give me an idea where the outliers are. Um, and then I'm going to try to equalize them a little bit better. But I just, in general, you know, I'm just offering caution to this because, you know, I'm just, I'm looking at, like, the stuff that we've put in versus the stuff that was there before, yeah. and everything we've put in are, are gigantic outliers. Well, to be I fair, think... there, there there was a lot of stuff in the penal code before the Council of Eight started working uh, that was overlooked or like left in because not enough oversight was paid to uh, transitioning the penal code from you know before and now. Like it, th- it was outdated in some respects. Which was there were there were charges that just didn't apply, like the the stolen goods one, for example, like the the valuable goods shit. Right. Um, but you, you were okay. This, this is another discussion, but I've removed and re added that charge three times now. So uh, I was not doing it a fourth time. I think and, uh, that, I, I'm, I'm just saying that the penal code does need uh, once over. That's all. Yeah. I'm say. And I mean, with the, the implementation of a lot of the charges that we've been putting is because there's been a, a quote unquote epidemic of said crimes and we were doing it as a, a, a huge deterrent. And just like we have, you know, we've been lowering the fines, you know, as it became less and less of an issue. And I know specifically with the turbo, we discussed it uh, to be equate to the value of said equipment because you know they would easily tank a yeah, charge we don't, we don't do that for any other uh never mind gotcha no no, no. I, I i understand what you're saying i understand or uh, that's what i'm trying to say is we're if, if you if you did that every single situation would be twenty thousand dollar situation 
and it's uh, that's untenable. So it, all I'm saying is, uh, I may have to make some changes to shit, uh, and it is what it is. Thank you. That's no, my understand. my stuff for the week. So along that same vein, I know that you you touched on it briefly in the last meeting. I think it was. Um, has there been any more discussions about people that are going uh, grossly into the uh, negatives? Uh, yeah, but uh, I can't talk about it yet. Oh, okay. Uh, it will be addressed, uh, but I can't say when or how. So <laughs> stay tuned. Right. Madam Treasurer, do you have anything you'd like to present to the council? I do not. Uh, I recently had a career change this week, and it has um, messed up my MDT profile. So, uh, What happened? Where'd you go from? Um, I resigned from EMS, and I am now a doctor with the hospital. Um, and now all I can see are the medical yeah. reports. So. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Which I didn't know because I just got hired on yesterday. So uh, I just realized it today. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we have more fun. Honestly, it's just because I hate driving. If I'm going to be <laughs> real. <laughs> that too. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, Michael, do you have anything you'd like to present? I don't have anything to present. I do have a question. Uh, what up? Who is in charge of EMS? I don't know. Did we talk about this at any council meeting? Like, who, is, who it, is presenting uh, for the EMS? It's Happy. Happy is yeah. the Franklin chief. Lee. Uh, and then goes Dion by Happy. is the assistant chief. Yeah, Dion, okay. do, Tam. Do they go to you in terms yes. of their issues? I talk with Happy pretty frequently about um, updates on things, and they uh, they talk to me about their issues. Uh, okay. He sent me paragraphs of complaints about the adoption law. So he, he knows for what. <laughs> he can talk to me at any time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I shut that Yo, down pretty hard. <laughs> no, the it's good to know that the the chief of uh, EMS is uh, writing you not about the state of his job, but rather the state of his uh, imaginary fake family. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, uh, we we've been on the same page with a lot of things. He seems happy with things. Uh, that one, that one, not so much. Okay, is he happy with things? Because there is rumors going around that EMS is quitting left and right, and there's nobody around. Uh, is this just a specific time? issue uh, because... so it's it's not just a time zone issue um a couple of very key people did leave veronica resigned that was their assistant chief then kiki has now resigned as well um just just a little bit burned out of it um so a big part of their high command have left but that those are the people that uh, were voted in to take the place uh, right. happy and dion i think they're both amazing so um you know, it might be an adjustment for a bit, but they, they are both really good. Then there was also, I believe, D'Angelo, who was one of the people who ran for chief, uh, who quit because, uh, I don't know his exact reason, but he uh, quit right after losing. So there you go. Uh, um, I've met both uh, the chief and deputy chief. Mm -hmm. uh, they're great. Love them. Um yeah. Uh, also, uh, Kiki and Veronica, they, they quit like a month ago or some yeah. shit at this point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Veronica's was a while ago. Kiki's a little more recent, but it's it's been a while. I think they've had some staffing issues, uh, to be honest. Uh, EMS and doctors always will. Um, but uh, they, they usually do a pretty good job. I haven't heard any major issues coming up. And I think uh, Happy and Dion are pretty good people to be in charge right now. Yeah, I... I I know that EMS has been struggling and that's why I diverted more state funds to paying them and whatnot. Hell yeah. Uh, it, I might even look at more in the future just because um, I'm going to be honest, if there was a job in Los Santos that I would not want to do, it's probably EMS. <laughs> so uh, oh, some extra, same. Yeah. Ex extra incentive might be nice to uh, get more medics on the street. Yeah, I know yesterday uh, there was an incident where the one EMS that was on duty was uh, held up at the Strawberry gas station and then stabbed uh, after being robbed Oof. as well. So uh, who was it? Um, I believe it was Odessa. Um, so uh, and then as far as who did it, I don't know. Yeah, I meant the victim. Yeah, yeah. Uh, her name was Odessa. She's okay now, but yeah. Good. It, it just, you know, she was already struggling because the city was on fire and she was alone. And then that happened to her. So, yeah, be careful at Strawberry. Uh, uh, Celine Windar likes to uh, gritty around that place. It's very dangerous. Mm. Um, 
are your are your questions sufficiently answered, Mike? Uh, it is as long as they're as long as they're looking into it, and the rumors are just kind of that rumors. Mm -hmm. uh, I can ask them about it if you want. Uh, I have not heard issues, and I know some of some EMS. Like I, I usually talk to their high command, like Happy and Dion, but um, I, I know some have been have come to talk to me about other shit too. Uh, no one has. They might just not know they can. Some might not know. So I'll, I'll try to field some questions. I'll let you know if there's any more. Yeah, that's a like like I told you the uh, the other night, Michael. Uh, a lot of them have out of city obligations, and sometimes it just it, it all coincides where just nobody can be around to pick up the slack. But oh, uh, they are same still. With the the worst. <laughs> yeah, they are still actively hiring as well. I know they have some more trainees mm -hmm. that they're uh, they've just put through. So. Yeah. All right. Well, that's. I think that's the only thing I had in terms of concerns. I don't have anything to present today. Honored Chief of Staff. Uh, I reworked the death penalty legislation with Counter. Yeah. Um, oh wait. I, actually, um, let's get Bobby yeah. out of here before. Oh we go yeah, off. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi, Bobby. Uh, Sorry, hey. Bobby. Um, Bobby, what, what, what would you like to talk about? Mm, oh, before I get into this, let me hang up this phone call. Okay. So, Nakoda, you're a cop, aren't you, Nakoda? What gave it away? <laughs> you're a cop, Nakoda. You, you know, all this marijuana talk. I bet you, you want to marry one of these nuts in your mouth, bitch? What? <laughs> oh, Bobby, what the oh, fuck? Bobby, oh, I mean, get out. What is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was the beginning Bobby, of my speech. Bobby, you can actually get out. Go. All right, all right. All right, all right. Maybe next week, Bob. I'm sorry, man. Everything he does is an actual what waste of time. Dakota, it's just it he has an actual mistake. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, somebody should have swallowed him. Amen. True. Damn. All right. Uh, continue. Death penalty legislation. Uh, it is a little bit further down. Sorry, everybody. It's report three five eight two. Took out the death coliseum. Sad. As cool um, of an idea as it was, yes. Yes, mm. yeah, yeah. Cantor and I like, kind of spitballed, worked through some things, and just to make sure that doctors are able to do what they need to do, um, uh, reworked that, but Cantor did have the great idea of keeping... You, you'll see. Ha have a look at it. Where is it? Uh, uh, it's uh, report 3582. Mm. It's just titled Death Penalty. It's a little bit further down in reports. Oh, this might be a tougher one to push for, but give it a chance, guys. Uh, essentially just establishing, right, uh, different uses of capital or different uh, methods of capital punishment for when uh, the death penalty has been adjudicated by the judiciary. Um, and I know in the past we had firing squad and lethal injection. Now, obviously, firing squad is going to be a little bit, well, we talked about this last time, all but impossible given the current state of the DOC, right, as far as in prison yeah. goes. Mm -hmm. Um Cantor and I spitballed and kind of worked this out instead um, of having public executions except for lethal injection. Thoughts, comments, so concerns? the firing squad would be primarily cops because obviously they, you know, have firearms training. Uh, but mm -hmm. then there, there's, all, there's the other part in there. Just you guys go for it. I'm against any public execution. Let's be real. It's going to be a big old shit show. That's, there, there was a reason they've been done in prison in the past, and it wasn't yeah, just I, because it was the prison. Yeah, someone's just gonna run up with six of their boys and shoot all the cops. I mean, what do you? Uh, I, I'm, I'm I, fine, I hate I'm to be the negative the, Nancy, yeah. but oh, God damn, uh, they're gonna ruin the dramatics. Uh, yeah. God yeah, damn, I've literally seen them. It go is, really it is bad. impossible for those kind of things to be held in public. Yeah. For as Malton said, there are very good reasons for that. I, I, I'm more than work around. The death work penalty. around. Let me hear this out. Instead of the Vinewood Bowl, right, for viewable tickets, what about the third floor courtroom behind the metal detectors? Uh, yeah, and then we can have the janitors clean up the brain matter. Yeah, we'll yeah. shoot all, shoot, <laughs> let's shoot a bunch of holes in City Hall. I'll, I'll, I'll pass. Oh, God. I, I, I'm against it being in City Hall just because I believe uh, that, that should not be the purpose of City Hall. Like I said, I'm, I'm all for the death penalty. I just think you it has a suggestion? to be yeah the basement of the police station like i, I don't give Ooh. a fuck wh where where it is it's just like do it stall in style for all i yeah. can Re like oh, reopen okay. grapeseed pd mm -hmm. like 
it's not a bad idea. I, a bad Stalin idea. style was not on the list of things I thought I'd hear today. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this uh, my bingo card is really getting outrageous. <laughs> uh, you're right. So, like, de death penalty. Yeah, sure. Some people just deserve to die. Public, uh, absolutely not. But a, a secured facility where it could be uh, monitored by PD for like entry and for them to actually do the business, and we know nothing's going to happen. Yeah, I I'm all for that. Lo location, you know, TBD. I, I would say a, a police station, since the prison is, mm -hmm. is out of commission, is is the logical next step for that. Okay, that's understandable. Uh, that's a Ooh, great one too. That's a great one. You should we have burned the stake on here, and I'm just saying, if if I was ever put to death, <laughs> yeah. I'd want to be burned uh, the stake publicly. Uh, Steve, so I would want. No, I would. What I want. No, nope, Catherine and I would both want to be burned. I'll pick that. Whatever method that is deemed fit by by law, but yeah, that, that's that's my only stipulation is it has to be yeah, in a secured facility. You. That makes sense. Okay, so if it was on the bottom of MRPD, could could we get a video camera in there and, and, and live stream it? I'm just saying. I'm, I'm fine with viewing parties. I want to sell pay-per-view tickets. Yeah, I have nothing against that. Just people can't be there who aren't uh, approved yeah. or... That's fine, but I think we should sense. be able to make yeah. money off of that because death row inmates take up a lot of state resources, and I think that we should be able to make some of that money back. Yeah, so, you know, was, uh, mm -hmm. set up a GoPro and, yeah, sell, sell the streaming tickets to that. That's fine. Okay. You know how sad Bobby and Carmine are going to be that you took away their, like, ultimate freedom? What do you mean? Oh. Uh, Previously, they would just get to actually murder the person in prison. Well, they could still do that before we get our hands on them. Yeah, I, but, you know, people, people get really good medical care around here. They rarely die, you know? Imagine yeah, we, we, got, we got the best Bobby medical, a, best just, medical just system just in America. Baseball bat Not at the prison. The That's what I'm yeah. saying. Okay, okay, fair enough. Now that you sh they should sell tickets to. I'd pay to watch Bobby Charles brain somebody. Um, okay, well, is that a good, is that a middle ground you guys want? Where they they have to do it in a public area of the prison and sell tickets. What about doctor, something like that? How's the doctor going to clear time of death? They'd have to be taken out of the prison. Yeah, they'll throw the them on the ground like they do with the yeah. people right now for EMS. <laughs> oh my god. Well, let them do that, but only in this one case imagine when they're scene, actually dead. Imagine the scene Bobby Charles wielding a baseball bat is just dragging this body behind him, and he tosses it outside the gates oh like trash god. and just walks back into the prison, uh, dragging the baseball bat it. on the concrete. The, the only thing I'll say is if we were worried about people interfering, if they did it in the prison, aren't we sort of inviting but, that? My other that, issue with mm -hmm. that is also if uh, the standing policy is uh, DOJ, or sorry, the prison, is, is a, a legislative black hole. We're kind of pushing that envelope by now legislating some things that are going to be happening in there. Yeah. Well, I'm not I'm not saying that we, we'd legislate them. I'm saying it just happened. If you're wanting the, the death penalty to be, well, you're just never getting out of prison, uh, you know. And then, if Bobby and Carmine kill uh, you, then you die. Yeah. Is that, is that yeah. it? <laughs> that's I, 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 that's I pretty good. That's, that, not, that's that is, not as far as I was going, okay? Well, no, I think that is a perfectly fine workaround. I, I just would not be comfortable with uh, passing something that says death penalty is allowed and it's up to Bobby and Carmine how that is. I, I would just go as far as. Uh, you've been sentenced to death, therefore, uh, you're never getting out of prison. Uh, you know, Bobby and Carmine, hey, they're they're all yours now. Is this like the uh, what happened to Axel Justice? We just give them a camera and oh give my them god. the person oh and say, "Oh my god, no. yeah, oh, say live oh, stream it." Oh, oh god, that's actually horrible. Ooh. Yeah, this is this is getting in the parallels crazy are crazy right. there. Yeah, no, you're right. Where did the mayor go? Well, that's a good question. I, I also wouldn't mind just sticking it to Bobby and Carmine because, uh, you know, who gives a fuck about them? You'll be yeah, back shortly. True. I, yeah, it's a tough one. I, I love the dramatics of everything we're coming up with, Siobhan, but it is a little difficult to figure out how to do it. Maybe. Well, the thing maybe is, we, it's just because we can't yeah. have nice things in the city. No, you know? you're not wrong. Yeah. Like, it, somebody's going to have to make it about right them. The dramatics are until, and, yeah, yeah, they'll just come shoot a bunch of people or something. So mm. maybe, um, Maybe, maybe we table it and continue to think because there's got to be a fun dramatic way, right? That there's some way. Fuck over. There's got to be some way. 
I, I uh, think if we we could legislate the death penalty now, like I I think that mm -hmm. that's a good thing for this council could do while we're sunsetting basically, and you know the the how and why could always be done at, at a later date. At a later date, okay. Like, yeah, I, I think it's perfectly uh, prudent, shall we say, to get on the books. Like, yeah, there is a death penalty, and until further notice, uh, you know, it's going to be uh, Nakoda taking you to the basement and and putting one in the back of your head. <laughs> oh like, my I... god! Well, the current idea. Oh boy, this is this gets really morbid. The current idea, uh, is essentially just give them the Bobby and Carmine, and and legislating that looks very bad. <laughs> So maybe we just leave it off the books until we come up with a plan. Oh, uh, but anybody yeah, who would like to spitball, yeah, 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 we don't. Uh, yeah. If anybody would like to spitball, you know, review this, go over ideas, brainstorm um, with like Hunter or myself at all this week, mm -hmm. please do let us know. Yep. Yes, yeah. I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely keep thinking on it because I'm all, I'm all here for the dramatics. I'm just saying, if someone's gonna be put to death, they should be put to death in style. I think we're doing the best for these people. So I agree. I don't mind taking it from. I honestly don't mind taking it from Bobby and Kyrmine because that was one of the no, great joys either. of the PD as well in the past. I, I think you could do plenty of style in, in the PD garage. It's also big enough for audiences, Ooh. dramatics, flair, etc. It's still also it's not technically bad. the lowest floor. You have PD. the ability to open control up the doors who's there. So like the smoke yeah. out after when they're burned at the stake. It's not yeah. Bad. Um, that was all I have. We're getting quick with this. Look at that. Yeah. Hello. Hi there. Welcome back. I'm alive. Did you guys finish your uh, discussion on the death penalty? Yeah. We're going to table we're, it. Uh, tabling it. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to try to come up with a good plan, but right now it still just says ease. Anything else you'd like to present? No, not this time, no. Okay. Uh, My turn. Yay. Let's, re re let's repeal adoption fraud. Really? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Why the change of heart? Fully? Why the change of heart? It's because I got to sit down in my meditative spot and gaze out across the hills and trees and cities, uh, skyline, skyscrapers, hands behind my back in silent contemplation. And I saw people roaming about the city, crossing like ships in the night never speaking to each other, but living their lives independent of anything that we ourselves saw fit to legislate. And I knew deep down the mayor, well, the mayor is the will of the people. And is it truly in the best interest of the people of Los Santos to tell them how that they're, how they're supposed to live in behind closed doors or even out in public? Is it truly the prerogative of the mayor's office to try to tell them that they cannot look at another adult, probably only a couple of years in difference in age and say, hello, son. And to have that son look at the, at, at the, at the adult in this adoption relationship and say, hi, daddy, I love you. I just want people to live free and happily. Mm -hmm. And that's that why I want to repeal adoption fraud. It should have never existed. 
so you'd be repealing ev everything about it, like no more of like the the filing, no more, just just like it was basically everything. in the beginning. Everything. Everything. The adoption policy and the charge for adoption fraud all gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it just it's not that. Look, at the end of the day, uh, if people want to LARP like they are, uh, you know, family, uh, I don't really give a shit. I kind of came to that realization. Uh, and you know, it's, it's not really helping anybody. <laughs> so it should go, it should leave. Uh, so I moved to repeal adoption fraud in its entirety. Uh, any nays? Uh, I have a question. Sure. Will the people who have already paid to adopt somebody be reimbursed? I would uh, say no. Hold on. Go ahead. Um, not many people paid to do it. So I would be willing to uh, pursue uh, refunding the people that actually did pay in the system. Mm -hmm. uh, it's probably only like shit, like 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 three or four people, maybe. Yeah. It maybe. looks like more than that if I'm huh. reading the document Fine. right now. How oh, many? You uh, son of a bitch! Oh, what? <clears throat> uh, what? Mr. Mayor, can I talk to you outside for a second? Yeah. Confusing. Huh. Huh. Yeah. I'm chewing this moment over with a Twix. Please don't ask me questions. <laughs> Can I buy your can I can I borrow your zippo later? Can I? Can I? Come on. Can you borrow my zippo? Yeah, yes. can I? Come on. Alright. Okay, cool. Alright. Hands the zippo later. Grab zippo. Lights up. Lights up, alright. Perfect. Alright. Hands you zippo lighter back. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, does anybody have any fun plans for tomorrow? Uh, pff, I'll be honest, didn't know it was Easter until this morning. Uh, uh, as, as festive as I look. Uh, so probably just continuing to look cute and showing people my outfit and that's about it. Maybe I'll go buy some chocolate. Uh, okay. Any nays for repealing adoption fraud in its entirety? No, I think this is a great idea. Uh, Same. Hey, hey. I just, I just want to clarify. I, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm, I'm for either way, but are, are people getting their money back? Uh, we can discuss that after we vote on repealing it. Just give okay, them a so coupon this... code to the mayor's um, office. A coupon code? Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. For the, just the repeal itself. Yeah. Obviously not. Okay. Yeah. I mean, uh, I was on the edge from, or on the edge of it from the start. I had so, so fuck it. Yeah. I'll unanimously. I kind of love it, but yeah. Unanimously repealed. Uh, good. More freedom. Hooray. Sure, um it. let's discuss uh so how many people uh, we, i can't see this document uh so uh, actually uh, have they have they been filling it out in the uh, yep, actual yeah. report yes they yeah. have it's been up last time march 25th wait was it what? 25th it might even be more recent what's the uh report number it is report 3483 it's actually created by you it says so you should have access to it yeah it got moved into the if we moved into oh the section, then it got moved then, okay yeah. okay yeah. okay uh so how many uh how many people in there uh, you all can One, share it with two, them three. Go, oh I yes i can i can it's 11 adoptions as of now wait can i share it in here i thought we had to be actually you know what never mind i can do this hold on uh we can we can uh do 10k 
for each of them. Some of them were probably 25k adoptions, but the you know we changed it to 10k, and then probably some extra people went in. Um, it's not really uh, taking money from the state because that money was it, it's essentially equivalent exchange, right? We're giving we're just going to give them their money back. Um, and I I mean I can help you take care of that Edda, or uh, you can take care of it yourself, whatever you want to do. Oh, sorry. Would... Uh, let me speak up. Uh, it no, that's fine. Yeah, you can ha you can all direct them to me, and then I can get it all taken care of. Okay. Um. Cool. Yeah. Oh, you guys okay. want to do a, a time limit on reimbursement, so you're not just randomly having to worry about this later. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh. Like okay. A couple of weeks, I guess, or a month. Yeah, we'll give them a month. Fuck it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, well, I don't really have anything else, uh, which would probably bring us to the conclusion of our meeting, unless anyone has anything that they've just remembered last minute. Uh, there was the question about the uh, pardon. In um, do we want to just talk about that after the meeting, Crane? Which one? Uh, Eddie Rawlings was that it? That's an appeal. We can about? talk about oh, that now appeal? if you want. Okay. Sure. Fine. Ooh, the up the tunnel one. Yeah, I mean, uh, if we're gonna hear it, uh, then we'll convene three of us to go hear it. But I'll sort of tell you what the situation is, and we can see if you guys want to take this up or not. Because we have the the option of just summary judgment and just deny the appeal. Uh, so uh, there was a case filed on the docket that was related to a gentleman being arrested. Uh, robbing HVAC equipment off of the roof of uh, the old courthouse and uh, a Milton Fire and Police Station. Uh, so the gentleman was arrested for felony trespassing uh, and some other charges, uh, and the lawyer is contesting the idea of it being felony trespassing because he's claiming that uh, uh, it is not a government building. So essentially, ah, he's saying that okay. his his niche argument is that, uh, and I'm going to try to present this in the most fair light possible. His his argument is that the sky bridge that connects the two buildings uh, does not make them conjoined or subject to the same regulations, and his belief is that the uh, signage all over the police and fire station is not sufficient to put people on notice that the old courthouse is also considered a government building. What what building? Is, is this the courthouse in the northwest part of the city? Correct. Okay. Uh, South so, Boulevard del Perro in the east. Yes, or in, Abe I Milton. Think the corners, or Abe no, Milton, no, no. Abe, Abe Milton and Carcer. Carcer, okay. Yeah. So uh, essentially the claim is that that uh, charge is inappropriate because it's not a government building. Uh, the uh -huh. lawyers and representatives from both sides uh, did not respond in a timely manner to the docket. Uh, the lawyer uh, came to a uh, a very uh, heady moment where he posted on the docket and requested summary judgment. Uh, I discussed with the other judges and provided summary judgment. So I informed him that it was, in fact, a government building. Uh, his client's ignorance of that matter uh, was not an excuse of the law. And uh, even if his client's ignorance was an issue, there is enough constructive notice considering the ladders you have to use to climb up to the old courthouse are literally right across the street from a tons of signs that say fire and police everywhere and no trespassing. Mm -hmm. And there's actually guys standing there. Uh, I said, even if ignorance was an excuse, I don't uh, agree with you. So uh, he then immediately appealed my decision to myself with two of you. Uh, so oh, so it is go. up to you guys uh, how to proceed. We can convene a panel, hear the arguments in full in court, or we have the option to summary judgment either way, either confirm me or reverse me or whatever. At the risk of sounding, uh, let's just say, like, crash or whatever, like, if they didn't respond to the, the docket posting, does the, the person even care? Like, why is this going this far if they didn't even make it to court to the first place? Like why did why did the it get summary judgment the first time around? The lawyer asked for it. Uh, 
Okay, so the lawyer motioned for summary judgment on the first one, and now it's getting appealed because they didn't get the answer they wanted? Yeah, that's that's what, just about to say. It, the they defendant. thought for sure they were going to win, and then does when the they defendant got... want to mm -hmm. go through all this, or is this, is this just a lawyer who wants to? I don't know. I, it's not fair for me to speculate on that. Mm -hmm. I'm just presenting the facts that matter to you guys, independent right. of any of my own conclusion. Gotcha. I mean, if they were found mm -hmm. trespassing on, there, let's put it this way: Are there two of you who would like to sit on a panel with me and hear that case? I want to hear the arguments. I'll do it. We yeah. talked about this, Ellen. I want to. Okay. Good. Then we will convene and schedule. Hmm. Sounds good. Cool. Do you want help scheduling? Uh, if you want. Okay. Sick. Good luck, Etta. <laughs> oh, boy. Where's my money, Etta? Yeah, Etta, I'll be meeting with you after class. Okay, all right. I got you. I got you. So am I Am I just reimbursing the 10K each, or is it just the full amount that they paid at the time? Uh, just do 10K, because uh, okay. I, don't, I don't know if it's possible um, to, to track. It's like nobody paid uh, over 10K. What about the people okay. who got caught for fraud? What do we say about them? Oh. Uh, we well, can't do anything. We can't do anything. It's like that. people who got right. caught for jaywalking before we made it decriminalized. They yeah, still it okay. was still a crime at the time. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yep. They should have followed the law. Fuck it. Uh, uh, Twatter is going crazy. Oh boy. <laughs> no, they can't have separation of church and state back now. Actually, I would like that. I don't want to be forced Mormon. How much longer do you have on that? Not that long. Eight days. It's fine. I can do anything for eight days. Oh, yeah, yeah. You pitched something about uh, outlawing Mormonism. Uh, I'm on board. Just so you oh. know, if, they, if you ever want to... I'm all in on that. Let's stable that for now. Okay, okay. Just let me know. Uh, when Song wants her adoption fraud reimbursement, it's like, okay, Too well... Bad. No. It... You still committed the crime at the time. I mean, I guess she could try to appeal on that basis, True. but she, yeah, you're, she's not getting it automatically. No, you don't win an appeal on that basis. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. Perfect. That way. Yeah. Ex post facto protects you mm -hmm. and hurts you. You mm -hmm. there you go. Well, and there you are. The judge would tell her no. All right. Kendra, can I just ask you real quick? What's your uh, yeah. yeah? What's your court availability? Actually, you know what? Something tells me I think I can figure that out. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty available. Okay, all right. I have no laugh. It's fun. Korean after four p.m. PST on weekdays. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, does anybody else have anything else? Are we good to go? Uh, I think we're good. Oh, I think we're good. Is everyone just on Twitter right now? I'm yeah. being blown the fuck okay. up. So yeah. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Poor no, Edda. no, it's fine. It's fine. It's uh, fine. I'll just retwat you throughout the day consistently. Mm -hmm. Well, all right, then. Uh, Nakota, can we go handle some business real quick? Uh, yeah, sure. Right. See you all next week. All right. Okay. Oh, no. I retold the wrong one. Well, here we are.